Welcome to my YouTube channel where I simplify the web. In this video, I'll be simplifying object destructuring in JavaScript. In the previous video I made, which you can find in the video description below, I simplified array destructuring in JavaScript and I showed you how you can easily extract values from an array and assign those values to variables. In this video, I'll be focusing on object destructuring. Object destructuring, similar to array destructuring in JavaScript, allows you to easily extract properties from an object and assign those properties to variables. And I'm going to be showing you some examples here to explain the different things you can do with object destructuring. I have this object here which has a name property, a YouTube property and a language property. Without using object destructuring, if I wanted to assign these properties to variables, I'm going to do it like this so I can have the name variable and I have object.name. If I want to do the same thing for YouTube, I have the YouTube variable and then I have object.youtube. You can see that I'm using two lines just to assign these properties to variables. But with object destructuring, I can do all of this on the same line. I'm going to show you how. I'll take this line away. For the structuring, I'll have my constant or let or var, whatever variable keyword you want to use. I have an empty object like this and then I have the object that I want to destructure here. First I have the name. Now I have the name variable assigned to the name property. I can also do the same thing for YouTube. This is the YouTube variable assigned to the YouTube property. I can destructure the language property also. Now the language variable is assigned to the language property. I'm going to show you that this works by logging these values or variables to the console. So console log name, YouTube and language going to extend this a little. I'll run this with no test. You can see that the name is Dillion, which comes from here. The YouTube variable is decode, which is here. And JavaScript is the language, which comes from here. You can see how the structuring makes it easy to extract properties from this object and assign them to variables. What if we do not want to use the name variable for the name property? Maybe you want to use a different variable name. Then you can do that by passing a colon. When you pass a colon, then you can declare what variable name you want to use for that property. So here I can pass username, for example. By coming here, you can see that the name variable no longer exists because this is not a variable as we have assigned the name property to the username variable. So here I can come username. If I run this again with no test, you can see it still shows Dillion, Decode and JavaScript. What if while destructuring, you pass a property that doesn't exist in this object? Let's say you pass a property like age. The age property does not exist in this object. So what do you think the age variable is going to have as a value? You can check that by logging it to the console. I'm going to come here, ignore no test. You can see that the age variable has undefined as a value. And the reason it has undefined is because the property does not exist in this object. So while destructuring it, it doesn't have a value. At the same time, while destructuring objects, you can pass default values to variables such that in cases where the properties does not exist in the object, it's going to take that default value. How do you pass a default value? You pass it with the equal sign. So for the language, I can pass a default value of CSS. For the age, I can pass a default value of 30. So while destructuring this object, I have the name property assigned to the username variable. I have the YouTube property assigned to the YouTube variable, the language property assigned to the language variable, and this has a default value of CSS. And I have the age property assigned to the age variable. I'm going to log this again with node so you can see how it works. The username is Dillion, which comes from the object. The YouTube is Decode, which comes from the object. The language has a default value of CSS, but because the language property exists in the object, it's going to have JavaScript. It doesn't use the default value CSS. But the age variable while destructuring does not have an age property, so it's going to be undefined. But because we pass a default value of 30, you can see that the age here is also 30. One more thing you can do with object destructuring is destructuring nested objects. What do I mean? I'm going to take this line off and I'm going to have a languages object, which is going to have a first property of JavaScript. It's going to have a second property of CSS. And this is a nested object in this main object. You can also destructure that. How do you do it? I'm going to clear these lines off. Since I want to destructure this nested languages object, I'm going to have languages written like this. 
put the colon now i can destructure it so i can destructure the first property now i have the first variable assigned to the first property i can also destructure the second property and assign it to the second variable i can even rename this to second variable like this i can pass a third variable while destructuring and i'll assign this a default value of php coming here i can log first second variable and third if i come back here to node and i run this you can see username is dillion comes from here youtube is decode first is javascript which it destructures from this nested object second variable which is assigned to the second property is css which you can see here and the third variable which does not assign to any property because it doesn't exist by passing the default value of php you can see it also results in php so you can see how easy it is to extract properties from an object and assign those properties to variables using object destructuring. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and also follow me for more simplified content.